So about, uh, I want to just talk about things that I, that happened to people, I guess. Um, I was working with John Bandy in Texas. I had listened to David Brinkley, uh, who was a newscast at the time, talk about a federal sales tax. And he said if the United States had a federal sales tax of about, he said somewhere between 6 and 10 percent, he said, and everybody had to pay it. He said, we would have the national debt paid off in no time. And we would eliminate this unfair, excruciatingly unfair tax system. He said, there would be no hiding this and that. It would just be a straight across the board, 6 to 10%. And he said, everything would go up, and you know, and that's where it would be. And I mentioned it to John Bandy, and, and he said it would never work. And then the next day, I heard him talking to a patient about this. And so I, I thought it was a great idea. So, in Houston, we had a great accountant. Uh, I don't... Well, MTOS was his name. And uh, we worked with him for a while, and I was talking to him about this. I said, you know, I was talking about this federal sales tax, and he said, you want to put me out of business. And I started laughing. I said, no, I enjoy helping to feed your family, because we paid him a a fair amount of money, but I also thought, yeah, yeah, uh, he lives because of such a complicated system that he gets paid to help us see if we can minimize our taxes, right? And that's that's his, that's how he's living his life. So a few years ago, I go back into the o- his office, and he said, no, um, he's not here anymore. And I said, well, his name's Don. Oh, yeah, he still owns the firm, but he's not here anymore. So I bump into him in the hallway. I said, I said, you know, what are you doing? I, he said, you're not. He said, no, no. He said, I kind of turned this over to people that I really trust. He said, but I'm into commercial real estate. And so we sat and we must have talked for 20 minutes about this new endeavor and a tremendous amount of excitement on his part. And I thought, well, wait a minute. Here you were a couple of years ago, me saying, you know, and I know that this is how he could move into commercial real estate, but he's living a much more magnificent life not doing what he did to get there. See what I'm saying? He, he's now doing real estate and he was really excited about it and talking about how they can watch it and move and, and they're, they're in this specific niche market. But what he accused me of was, he, oh, so you want to drive me out of business? And I did not want to drive him out of business. I, again, think his business was a business that was built on an inferior bureaucratic system that doesn't work. But it didn't take me or my thinking to get him out of business. He took himself out of business. He's doing more of what he wants just on his own. If I have to say anything, do what you want. Look and see what it is. Have fun. Live your life. And do as many things as you can. And if you can't find what you want to do, do some stuff and see if you can have fun doing it. Thanks for listening. www.micpeakperformance.com